Back to Elden Ring, the funnest game ever. Huh, where we just have super time, never get mad at anything, and so it's like so enjoyable and we're touching golden light. Hey, that's a rune arc. I swear to God, if you're not easier than the last one, <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Okay. A little menu music. A little half body, half who knows what. Radagon of the Golden Order. Alright, let's see let's see what Oleg does. Oh shit. What if I, like, just didn't stand in there? Is that an option, or...? Hey. Well, like, you served a pretty good distraction. Now I have to... actually learn to fight. You guys see that? I went for the parry. Oh! Well, we're definitely gonna die. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. I got it one eighth down. I learned two of the moves. And now it's just all improvements from here on out. That's it. It's all just improving. Thankfully, oh god, for real? I hate these, these last few bosses. You gotta run up the stairs every time. Like, just put me right here. Put me right here. You know, what's the difference? What's the difference? And you know this thing's gonna have like a nasty, a nasty phase two. Okay, we can block that, but it literally takes all of my stamina. The moves are pretty, uh, telegraphed. Well, that's good. I wonder if I should be going back to the poison ash of war. Look, frost. You love that. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Do I get to... Oh, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Bubble up, bubble up. Okay, bubble's gone. Jesus. All right. Backhand.
Not a lot of healing left here. I don't know if I can dodge that the way I'm trying there. Okay. Woo! Finally, holy frick. That took a long time. Took a long, long, long time. Did this amoeba just make that into a sword? What the hell? You're kidding me. <laughs> This is a phase two? Oh my god. I don't even know what I'm looking at, honestly. I'm dead. I'm dead. Wow. Are you telling me? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, of course. It's gonna make me redo the whole thing, isn't it? The whole thing? Oh! Wow. It's not even a second phase. It's a whole second boss back to back. <sighs> okay. Okay. It'd be so sick if this was just that amoeba right now. But I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, God. <sighs> Pretty good, probably. I'm 
going to actually use my bubble here. Okay, this, we're just running. That's not too bad. Kind of beautiful in a hideous piece of shit kind of way. <laughs> oh, he goes under? That's cool. That's cool. Like half dragon, half worm. Half celestial body. Oh, that was close. Even know what that was exactly. Okay. Well, Okay, so I imagine he's going to have his own phase two. Which I would love. Oh my god. Okay. Have to pay attention to that. Oops. <laughs> Thought he was going to do the fire thing. I, I saw, in my head, I saw fire. Okay. Not, not, that first part is not too bad now that we've seen it.
Okay, pretty good start.
Wow, that was close. Come on, baby. <clears throat> Focus up. Jesus! Fuck! Oh! That was insane!
fuck.
Come on, baby! Let's go! Woo! Holy frick! You better be it, buddy. You gotta be it. I'm so done with this boss. I'm done. It's like two and a half days. <laughs> oh. Wow. 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 The Okay, so... Wow. The thing... Okay. The thing that always got me on that boss was it would throw out these, like, batch of stars in the second phase. And it seems like I couldn't dodge them. I would, oh, and then he would start doing other attacks, and those stars were, like, tick damaging me. And then there was, like, a bigger star, and it would hit me. That was bad news. But I think we messed up his combo because in that round, we actually stunned him twice. And I think that really messed it up uh so we got like an easier round there which honestly is deserved after doing it literally a hundred times ridiculous and i probably only got to that boss hmm i probably only got to him like let me think 30 times <laughs> and there's just always something there was always something That's unreal. That was fun. I mean, for the two and a half days it took me, it was great. Yeah, great. Didn't didn't eat, sleep, drink, nothing. Mend the Elden Ring. Let's mend. This is the end, boys and girls. This is it. Fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall an age of fracture oh it's done it's done. It was a that was a grueling grueling last 10 hours of boss fights. <laughs> really hard. Now, I understand I've made it more difficult on myself. Totally 100%. I don't really farm a lot in these games as I should. Uh my build was pretty sh you know, I didn't deviate a lot. We tried some new weapons here and there, but that Uchi, man, I was like, it's hard to get away from. I, uh, had the option to respec, too. Could have done that. But then I felt like changing our whole kind of play style was a bit rough there. Uh, but just even, like, 
just farming up, you know, 20 extra, 30 extra levels probably wouldn't have taken, probably would have taken me less time to farm up the extra levels than it did to beat the bosses that would make the bosses much easier to fight. That's what I'm thinking. But what an amazing game. This is probably, this is going to go down as one of the best games of all time. No question, 100%. Critics and personal. And I just think that they've done a phenomenal job with the open world design. What I kept harping on this whole playthrough was, oh, there's something cool over there. Or we have this section of the map. Let's go see what this hole in the ground is. And like, I don't think there was... There may have been one time <laughs> where we didn't get rewarded with something being there. I don't mean even items. I just mean an interesting boss or uh, a unique mob or something going on, a storyline, who knows, anything. And yeah, really, really, really cool. We did do a, a couple of the storylines. I don't know if we completed any of them. We had that one guy, we cleared out his fort uh, and he was reinstated, but that was kind of it. There was the the blind girl, I thought we would give her, like, one of those shabriris. Uh, she, when we went back to her, she was dead. There was the guy in the shack and the girl in the church. Um, there was a few of those. I don't know if they were ever completed. There was the wolf guy. I don't know what happened with him because I never met the girl that he was looking for. <laughs> so much stuff. There's so much stuff. Probably so many bosses I never saw. And I think once things kind of settle down here, once I finish uh, Dying Light 2 on streams, then I'll probably come back to this and look to tackle some of the stuff that I missed. Uh, some bosses and stuff with the help of you guys if you're interested. That said, uh, in the future, if there's a downtime in games, I would love to do another, like, I would do a New Game Plus run or something. Uh... I think this would be so fun to go through again, knowing what you know now. Oh, really, really, really good. And I'd probably try a different build. I've always leaned dex builds, but I'm, I know I'm leaving magic on the table. Magic seems very strong here, especially when you combine it with the Ashes of War, which we dabbled in. We, we barely utilized the Ashes of War. Uh... Once I found that poison about two-thirds of the way through on the Uchi, I was like, yeah, this is nice. It did remove the, um, it did remove the, uh, unsheathing attack. And if you notice there in the last boss fight, I did, uh, end up removing it and just going back to normal so that I could have that unsheathing attack. And I think that actually helped me get one of those first stuns on the Elden, uh, Lord. So, I don't know if that thing would have taken poison anyways. In, in the multiple attempts that I had, I don't think it ever got poisoned. The first part for, uh, of the boss certainly did. Uh, but when you get into the Elden Beast, I, I don't think it was taking any of that stuff. So, yeah, man. What a really amazing, amazing game. Great ride. Uh, true FromSoft through and through. And I just enjoyed it. I enjoyed every minute. And even like, okay... There was uh, the Godskin duo that I couldn't beat, and I was like, screw it. I'm calling in a summon, and we got it done. Uh, my spirit summons were not bad, but really inconsequential. Uh, they weren't leveled up super high, which means I probably have buttloads of dungeons out there to get those ghost grave wards from and whatever. Uh, there was a mimic tier that people were saying I should be getting, which uh, apparently copies my character, and then that's my summon, which is would would have been probably amazing. Uh, yeah, man, really, really nice. And I missed a bell somewhere to turn in to the two old ladies at our round table hold because I could upgrade. I think I had like smithing stones seven and eight, but I didn't have five and six or something like that in order to to buy uh more of the upgrades for my weapon 
So unless I wanted to just go and farm them, I had no clue where I would need to find that bell. Uh, so I would just be running around blind, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, this is the cool thing about this game, is that everyone's path is generally different, unless you're following uh, some type of guide or a, a walkthrough or something. You're gonna just kind of stumble upon things. Like, I went back, I think, two-thirds of the way through, back to the southern part of the starting point, and there was a whole bunch of stuff, a bunch of upgrades and things we missed there. And uh, that was very helpful. That was very helpful. And there probably is a, a sort of natural progression through here, but um, you kind of use the enemy difficulty to gauge how crazy things are getting. Uh, I would say around like episode 60 to 65, we entered a certain area that was really hard. We had to be there. It was really hard, but that's when I was like, oh shit, I think I'm underleveled. You know, I think I'm underleveled. And, uh, I don't know, we just push through. And that's part of, there's part of me that's like, okay, I like to do this with as little as possible. I'm not hardcore like some of the guys that do, uh, you know, no weapons, level one runs. Like, good for you. That's awesome. Uh, I have enough trouble with, like, decently leveled weapon and, and armor, right? So, yeah, it was, uh, it's fun. It's really enjoyable. But I, I do get stuck in my ways. I get really stubborn. I'm like, well, I'm here. I could obviously, I can beat it. I can. It's just, do I have the mental fortitude? And yeah, the game broke me a few times. There was a lot of f bombs. What well, I don't, I don't generally swear a lot. Uh, I try not to, but this game, it's just the, I, you can't, you just can't not do it because it's so rage inducing. It is so rage inducing. <laughs> and there's people who are like, oh. You know, FromSoft games aren't hard. No, they're hard. They are hard games. These games are very challenging. Uh, but when you win, it's amazing. Okay, begin journey two. If you do not start over now, you can choose to begin journey two later. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not going to restart here. Is there... Ah, sweet. Yeah, cool. So, this is what I was, what I was thinking is... Uh, next time I come back, we'll do a, we'll do like a live stream or something. And, uh, oh, yeah, okay, good. Uh, we can just come back to certain areas that I missed, things that I should look for, interesting boss fights, um, so on and so forth. And I'll let you guys kind of drive that for me. Uh, there's even certain areas like this, I presume, is, as there should be maps here. There's pro oh yeah, look, boom, right there. Just noticed it. Map there. That might uncover this whole top section. I see a street here. We could follow that up for a map. Like, is this all? This might even all be stuff. Okay, let's presume that this ha this island has water around it on the north too. So let's say where I'm circling here, this is all stuff, right? That's wild. And then who knows about any extra weird little teleport spots to take you to who God knows what. Yeah, uh, really, really, really cool. Had a good time. Guys, I hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Uh, stay tuned for when we live stream some missed stuff here. And uh, we'll go from there. Thank you so much, everyone. We did it. Bye-bye.